Alrighty then, so we're here with another game for the Nexus 7. This time we are looking at Heroes Call, which is a Tiger 3 game. It's pretty awesome. It's available for free. Um, Storyline is displayed usually in this read, script, scroll up, down manner, which I don't really care for because I don't really like reading when they play video games. I'd rather just kill and watch videos. Well, occasionally I do read the boring dialogue. They tell you how to do the combos, which is you tap, tap, tap. In this game, you could use gestures for skills, which is pretty cool. So, um, for the frenzy skill, you swipe from right to left and you get it out. So, as you can see, the graphics in this game are amazing. Um, detail and everything. You can really see Tiger 3 taking place. I play this on my phone, which is um, obviously a small device, small screen, 720p resolution. But, um, yeah, the details on this screen look really sharp. Um, you tap once, you combo. I can swap, swipe right through myself to level up. So it allows me to, um, not level up, sorry, to activate my frenzy ability, which allows me to go ape yeah, shit on these guys. Um, I've played through a little further on my phone. Um, you find a lot of cool items and equipment. You have the appraiser, which identifies the items for you. Um, you get more skills, you got a full tree, tree of passives and stuff like that. You can pick up armor and weapons. The unfortunate thing is that the armor and weapons don't actually, um, see these items are unidentified, so I have to carry them to the appraiser to get identified, and then they'll get their additional attributes. But, um, yeah, the only downside I see in this game so far is that you don't actually see what the items look like on your character. There are a bunch of little things you can break that drop money and sometimes items if you're lucky. Overall graphics and gameplay is pretty good. I can't say much for the story because I, cause like I said, I played it without following it. But um, there are different characters you can play which you can unlock apparently with in-app purchases. But um, I usually play the tank or warrior class anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. For you guys that like playing healers, mages, assassins, sleeves, you guys are really going to want to um, you know, take a look at that in-app purchase thing. I'm going to run this dungeon and probably a second one so you guys can get a feel of what's going on. I'll also check out the shop and the skills and traits and stuff. Blue bag means rare loot. So you do get a lot of loot in this. Quite a bit. I guess it's reminiscent of games like Diablo style and other type. Uh, top-down dungeon crawlers. They give me a little tooltip telling me what the frenzy skill I could use by clicking here or swiping through my characters I've been using for a while. There's usually a lot of alternate paths we could explore, but uh, I think I'm on the main path right now. Those are your alternate paths to help you find hidden bosses, loot, etc. Or groups of mobs and stuff. So on my higher level character I have an ability if I swipe from left to right, I um, do a whirlwind slash. And if I double tap an enemy I do a shield bash. And then there's one where I drag my finger across the screen and the character does a, essentially a charge. Oh crap, my inventory is full. Okay, I need to drop something. Oh, a lot of swords. None of them are really good. I have a lot of crappy swords. So I'll drop that. Pick up this rare thing over here. And mosey on my way up these stairs. And here you go, I completed my first dungeon. Return to town. As you can see, boring dialogue, storyline thing. But the gameplay makes up for everything else is, you know, sucks. Which is the, I guess, the way the story is presented.
leveled up. So these are this is a skill three I was talking about. So you can see there is a passive to increase critical chance. There is vengeful target. Every range attack that hits you refills your vengeance. Um, and then there's the shield bash, which I'm gonna get, which allows me to stun my enemies in area of effect. I'm gonna sell some of this equipment, the common stuff. The common meaning that it's not rare, it's not green or blue. Now you can sell the the uncommon stuff here. The problem is, is that you don't get as much money as if you appraise it. Appraise is essentially identifying the item, find out what's what it's really worth, what it can really do. I'm gonna go to the merchant, go to the appraiser, I'm gonna identify this blue shin guard here. Now for a thousand gold you can unlock other slots allow you to appraise other things. But for now I only have one slot unlocked as I just started playing on this tablet. So apparently I'm waiting for the next quest. Would you like to hurry the summons at no cost? I guess. I'm gonna run through another quick dungeon here for you guys. Skipping storyline again. Alright, so we're loading. Alright, so let's go. More tutorial tips. So you can move by clicking the screen or holding down. I accidentally fired off my shield bash. Let's see if it's bot yet. Yes it is, let's try it. So it knocks about all the enemies in front of you. So you could um, get a chance to attack without taking so much damage. My friend's young though, he's a kick somewhere else. So you attack the enemy once per swing and that gives you a combo that does I think it's 10% or 20% more damage each swing. So you're not just swinging wildly. Look at the skeleton climbing over a hole in the ground, that was interesting. I didn't read the storyline, I have no idea what my quest is, but most of them are kill or find something or find people, rescue. It's a, a so far a decent variety of missions. Oh, this is a gold bag, I think this is a legendary item. Nice. Oh, lucky me. Yep, legendary short sword. Nice. Oh, I hit drop, let me pick that right back up. <laughs> You can't equip it until it's a prize. You can buy uh, scrolls allowed to identify stuff. Or you can appraise for free at the uh, apprentice, apprentice dude. Yeah, I found an epic item now. Epic wooden shield. So you do get a lot of items. It's all for those um, item whores that play Diablo and other light games. You will really get a kick out of this game. Yeah, actually intensifies uh, later on you get in the game. You encounter tons more enemies in combat. Like I said, graphics are amazing. Gameplay is very good. It's spot on. Only downside to this game is the story is not well presented. I think even if the dialogues had audio, it would have been much nicer. But for the Nexus 7, this is a really good game. Controls are cool. Feels good to. Um, the reaction, the character base, and your clips are pretty good. Combos are nice. Graphics, amazing. I can't stress them out enough. Sounds are good too. You actually hear the bones crunching on each sword.
giant spider. Oh, not giant, this is large. More large spiders. Let's stun it. Oh, I don't have energy to stun it. Uh -huh. So you got a crowd of uh, skeletons here. I'm gonna run past them and double back. Do a group stun and then take them down with the incapacitator. Only managed to stun two, so I'm gonna see what I can do here. And my energy is low, so I can't uh, use my skill. I just stun these two again. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here, um, you guys can definitely check out this game, like I said it's free, available in the marketplace, I think this game is restricted to Tiger 3 devices though, so if you're not um, on a Nexus 7 or 1X or whatever, Transformer Prime, you may not be able to play this title, but um, as you can see the graphics are well worth it, if you're thinking about getting a Nexus 7 as a gaming device, it really excels at that. 7 inch, easy to hold in the hand, easy to play. So, um, yeah, this is another great game. This game is Tegra, as I mentioned. So, uh, kudos to Nvidia and the guys that made the game for making such a really nice. Uh, take, you know, take a time you come in, you run a dungeon for about 5 10 minutes, you get some loot. You press some stuff and then you just go chill. Uh, some people may play it more hardcore than others, but um, yeah, to each his own. Loot. There's the end of the mission, so I'm just gonna complete it. There's the game supposed to be looking for. Rage. Alright, quest complete. Return to town. Alright, so that is Heroes Call THD for the, well, any Tiger 3 device, but I'm playing on the Nexus 7. Later.